And let's hear it. Hear what? Your explanation for this. If there's one thing I can always count on, it's you and your logic, so. You want me to explain the dead serial killer's missing body? I don't know what happened here. Yet. That's it. That's all you've got. But I can assure you that it has nothing to do with Nigel Malloy rising from the dead. It's his brother. Leopold Malloy is behind all of this. Yo, it doesn't look like Leopold has anything to do with this. No, that can't be right. The guy's crazy, but he was right about one thing. He has no phone, no email, and no visitors besides Val. There's got to be some way of proving that Leopold's behind all this. Can't tell you how he did it, but... I can't tell you who's next. I checked into the court documents on the Malloy trial. I noticed a pattern. Jason was the first person to testify. He was also the first one to die. A day later, Val, the second person who testified, was killed. Okay, so they're being killed in order of their testimonies. Who's lucky number three? Uh, Mark Heller. I talked to his girlfriend. He received a disc three days ago. That means he's due to die tonight at midnight. That's in four hours. And where's Mark Heller now? That's the problem. He watched the video, he freaked out, he left the house, nobody knows where he went. I might. Heller's financials show that he bought groceries at a store outside Kingston yesterday. His family owns a cabin up there. That's probably where he's holed up. Okay, Esposito, you keep digging into Leopold. Ryan, find the other witnesses, make sure they're safe. Castle and I will head off to Kingston and see if we can get Heller. We're going to a cabin in the woods in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, so? So it's like the co-ed checking out the strange noise in a basement in a slasher pig. It's a recipe for disaster. It's not a slasher flick. It's a murder investigation, and I'm going up to that cabin. So, you coming or what? Well, I can't let you go alone. But I need to make a stop first. Okay, so I've got incense, philosophers, bagwell mirror. This is a veritable war chest for fighting evil spirits. Is that holy water? Yeah. Where'd you get that from? A priest blessed this for me two years ago. And you, you just keep it around? It will come in handy one day. Now, what weapon do you want? I think I'll be fine with my gun. There's not just one tiny part of you that wonders if I might be right? <laughs> 